This is not going to end good. Prepare to fall through the ground, Sir Graham. All right, here we go. All right, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Into chamber. Time to go melee. Switching off of the marksman spec and going with Nightblade. Ah, uh, Dachinukor at Fablight. He says, Grim, see your videos on YouTube, bud. Thanks for the support, dude. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I, I'm always blown away by how much you guys are enjoying the videos and stuff. Uh, let's go up and try to put a stab on this guy. Oh man, welcome to Nuketown, son. Oh man. Oh, another person. Oh, my cooldowns are down. That's not good. And he's a healer. Okay. Looks like what, uh, Chloromancer? Yep. Dang it. Don't even need to mess with him. None of my cooldowns are up. Well, actually, my uh, small burst is up, but it's not really worth messing with the healer unless I'm going to burst him down. Uh, some guys down here. Let's go ahead and pick them off. Alright, waiting on my big burst because I don't want to take down two people at once. Got eight more seconds until my big burst is ready. Ah, third person over there. Uh, no. Alright, I guess we'll fight him. I was kind of thinking against it because I didn't want to chase him across the map, but he stopped. Alright, time to burst you down, buddy. Mmm, Nightblade. Dang, it's so nice. Uh, Dad's Nuker asking if he wants... If we can group. Oh man, I hardly ever play stealth classes. And I figured you could stealth and then jump up on the center, but no. You can't. And dead. On to number two, dead. Number three, dead. <laughs> oh, Nightblade, get the kill and blow on everything. Oh my gosh. And mind you, I, I've got. I haven't got very good gear yet, so man, I, I can't even imagine a geared out Nightblade. Rogues are by far, I think, the most powerful class in the game. Not necessarily has the best spec. I mean, I, I, I've i always thought that Inquisitor was probably uh, the best spec, if not close to it, you know. It might not be the best, but I've always thought it was top, so. Um, but as far as a class overall, Man, you can't go wrong with Rogue, man. It's got so much burst with Nightblade. It's got really good DPS and burst with... Uh, oh, look at this guy. Really good burst and damage with Assassin. I mean, insane damage with Marksman. Physician Rogue heals are so good. I mean, just the class overall is, you know, top-notch. So if you're ever uh, thinking about starting Rift or uh, wondering what, sp uh, what class would be the funnest or something, most likely Rogue. Ro Rogue is just so strong. So good. So, so good. And, and all of those options are amazing in PvP. So let's just put that out there, you know. Whenever you talk about something like Warrior or something, you know, you're thinking about Reaver is good for its range fight. Uh, do I want to fight the group? Do I want to fight the group? No, I don't think so. Oh, man. See, my problem with uh, playing melee these days is I get a little bit suicidal. I mean, uh, because it's so hard to get kills if you're not. If you don't wade into the groups, you know, you can't take a hit for one. Uh but you can't really take a hit, but 
if you just play running away the entire time, you're never going to get kills this melee. You got you got to go in and go for the kills. So, you know, it ain't like the old days where uh, you could pick and choose going in and out because you'll never go in if you're playing melee these days. If you play like that. But there are times you definitely got to pull back. You definitely got to pull back at certain points. If your healers are pouring everything onto you and you're just eating up all the heals, yeah, pull out, man. Um, uh, looks like a fight going on over here. Uh, three, any, four enemies here. So let's go ahead and try to burst them down. Ah, uh, this is that healer. No, 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 no. Let's get him down. Switch to the healer. No. Looks like my ally is down that was here. Is this... Uh, another ally ran up right then, but yeah, the first one was dead, so. Killing a spree. Yeah. Got smashed a because I, I took on too many people at once. And that's always the terrible thing about. Man, I got that healer down so low to. Oh, he switched. He's not healing anymore. Hmm. I see your buffs now. Yep. Alright, so he tricked me. I thought he was healing. That's what got me so worried about the whole situation and why I chose my targets the way I did is because I thought he was going to be healing. Oh well. That's how it goes sometimes. Killing spree. I gotta really be careful about... Uh, solo here. It's not going to end well for you, buddy. I don't care how much gear you have or what you're doing. You are taking on a Nightblade right now and the odds are not in your favor. But yeah, Nightblade, amazing. If you guys have not seen my Nightblade build, oh look at this guy. He knew I was up here. Oh man, I didn't get the kill on him. That's surprising. Oh well, my my shots kind of uh, landed at the wrong moment right there. Even though I was hitting him really hard. But um, yeah, if you haven't seen my Nightblade build, watch it at the end of the video. I'll put a link for the Nightblade Nightblade build at the end of it if I can speak. That was kind of a tongue twister. Uh, somebody down there. Let's go ahead and blow this guy up. Now, if you're wondering how to play melee in uh, in the antechamber, you don't really want to go too crazy like I do quite often. I, I kind of dive in for kills and stuff sometimes. But uh, the best way to do it is always take base in the center, right in the spire, right in the middle. That way you can pick your targets, drop down on them, blow them up, get back up, and... Uh, did he chase me? Uh, no, my cooldowns are down. Dang it. I'm not going to win this fight. Uh, no cooldowns, man. Oh, this is life. That was a shaman, man. Okay, so if I'm dealing with another burst class like that, like shamans is insane burst. Uh, just like Nightblades are. You know, if he's out gearing me, he'll probably win that fight. But that doesn't make me not want to fight him again. I want to try to outburst the more burst. Because he's got over 80,000 health. Look at that. Okay, let's take him on. He's a little bit hurt. Hopefully he doesn't burst me down too fast. Ah! No! Oh my gosh, he does way too much damage compared to me. Man, see, he's got over 80,000 health, and he's full DPS, and I'm barely breaking the 70,000 hit points. So you can see the huge gear difference there. But I was still hoping to bring him down, man. That's not a fight that I want to uh, back down from. Let's let's go after him again. I didn't even get the kill on him, man. No. Oh, man. Well, I guess he deserved the kill. I mean, he's the one that 
kept him low, I guess. Oh man. Not getting the kills like I was earlier. That ain't cool. Already have a couple of deaths too. That ain't good. It's never good to die. <laughs> People are really going after each other in level 1 to 29 yet. <laughs> They're bringing up religion and just hating on each other. Oh, lots of enemies here. Do I want? I don't know. Should I stay? Should I go? Oh, man. Let's go for it. And this is why I die sometimes. is because I go for it like that. But that one turned out all right. Nightblade is also really cool because... It can fight at range too. It, you know, it's uh, melee is super amazing. Oh, oh, it's the shaman. Shaman, let's blow him up. We got help this time. <laughs> I definitely need help with him. I got the kill. Nice. Man. So I've gotten to kill him twice and he's killed me twice. So I'd have uh, almost no deaths if it wasn't for that guy. <sighs> yeah, I know. Need to pick my battles better, don't I? Uh, Alright. Burst is up. Burst time. Burst. No, don't stun me. Don't stun me. No. Okay. Ah. Man. I seen that other guy facing towards me, too. He was casting on me, so that sucks. Man, I almost had him, too. Hmm. Uh, Shaman, am I going to get number three on you, or are you going to get number three on me? Let's take out this other guy real fast. Oh, the healer, yep, definitely got to take him out. I uh, can't have you healing that shaman, man. Killing spree. Oh, yeah. Boom, number three. I had lots of help for it, but I'll take the kill. I'll definitely take the kill. The guy's got a serious gear advantage on me, so I need I need the help. Trust me. Uh, no, don't be stunning me. Man, where's all the kills at? Give me the kill. I want to... <sighs> man. Everybody else beat me to the punch, man. I like I like kill hunting. It's fun. As long as you're not like just completely ruining the match for the rest of your team. You know, I, I've uh did that before to where uh I was on team really trying to win and we had a dude that was kill hunting like crazy and it, it just ticked me off so much. I think his name was Lotus or something like that. And it was Antichamber. He was playing like a Nightblade or Sin or something like that. And he was just kill hunting the entire time. And completely losing the match for our entire team. Well, I was playing on my uh, my mage. And I mean, I had zero gear on my mage at that time. I mean, I'm still working on gear on him. But at that time, it was really bad. And so I was... I was staying at uh, the center and guarding the flag. Well, the enemy team had kept like one flag on us or two or something like that. But um, I was keeping the center node and we ended up losing the match. Uh, but we had like 800 and something points. And this dude was like completely telling the team to give up basically and it it sucked because whenever you're contributing towards the team losing and then all of a sudden you uh you demotivate everybody else and really sabotage the the match it it sucks you know it really sucks when their players do that not seeing a recent forum thread where somebody was talking about losing so many matches and i guess that's the stuff that they were doing was uh, like talking down to their entire team and demotivating everybody to where everybody gave up. So. 
Yeah, it sucks whenever you have players like that that are super negative. I remember the guy kept on telling me that uh, these nodes don't win matches, it's flag caps. It's like, man, we had 800 and something points. Of course, uh, holding on to uh, the three flags will win you the match a lot of times. But you got to stop them from uh, capping the flags, you know, the ones that you run. You got to stop them. And whenever I said, all right, guys, you know, we need to keep our uh, the three nodes, but we can't let them chain cap on us. That's whenever he was like, I learned how to play. You don't know how to PvP, yada, yada, yada. It was, it was terrible. Oh, man. Look at that. And the win. I was hoping to get another kill on the guy. I mean, he deserves it. 16 and 4. Not too bad. I don't like dying that much, but oh well. You know, I, I, I kind of run a little bit kamikaze at times. So, uh, yeah. Very nice Warfront. Let's go ahead and show the gear that I get. And an essence. Oh, uh, endurance heavy and physical crit. Oh, that sucks. But it's probably still an upgrade for me. I have really bad gear on my rogue. Uh, I still have like the gloves that you get from uh, the rust bucket and I have a blue helm and earrings and stuff. Eh, doesn't really look like an upgrade for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed the match. And as usual, my name is Grim. I'll see you.